everyone so as many student is requesting to show the basic lab in the cml so i am starting the cml you can see here just we will click here and power on that one you will get the ip here whatever ip you are getting you, you need to type that ip in the browser okay so i will type this is the ip i get then you will have the username and the password username is admin and whatever password we set we need to write that one okay after that we can press enter so you will go inside now example if i want to do any lab i can do here like uh, any lab we can do i can give the name here basic lab whatever the old lab we have here i can uh, create the new one just click here this is a new lab how you will do you will take one router here click here you have here router so just drag and keep here this is one router if you need one more keep like this two router you have if you need one more keep like this this is a three router you have and if you want to change the name of the router click select like this and give the new name here example if you want to give r1 just give r1 and here if you want to change the name of the router here in the label just change like this if you want to change the name of the router here just change here like this and if you want to connect you can connect here right click you will see here connect link go here and click it is connected now same thing add link connect here create link so it is connected now this is our the this are the interface if you want to make zoom in you can click this one to zoom in if you want to write whatever network we are using just click here and write here 192 okay whatever you want to write you can write here text 192.168.12.0 slash 24 i am using so this will be here in between this so here will be 12.1 here will be 12.2 and here if you want to use anything in between here also you can select here and click here where you want to type and type here like 192.168.23.0 slash 24 and you can move where you want to keep and if you want to create loop back here you can click here and write here you can give whatever you want to give example you will write lo 0 and give here the loop back like 3 dot loop back 0 3.3.3.3 3 3 8 and we can power on the device you can start the device this router will start you can click here so all the router will be starting here after that what you will do here take the console right click and click console you will get the console click here you will have the console of the router same thing you will click here right click click console you will have console here so you are able to access the console here okay i will select the r1 so this is the router one and here we can do the basic configuration i can write here enable config t i can change the host name as r1 and i can assign the ip address to the interface e0 by 0 i will give ip address 192.168.12.1 give space 255.255.0 and we can write no shut okay if you have any other interface you can assign the ip only i have one interface and what else we can do here if you want you can enable the ospf you can write router ospf 1 okay and you can use the network command or you can use here interface e0 by 0 ip ospf1 area 0 here we are learning how to assign the ip and how to configure the ospf so i assign this ip to the router interface i enable the ospf then i will go to the r2 i will do the same thing in the r2 also enable config t host name i will change this one as a r2 then i will assign the ip address to the interface e0 by 0 ip address 192.168.12.2 give space 255.255.255.0 and write here no shut okay and what else you have another interface here e0 by 1 then you can assign ip address 192.168.23.1 give space 255.255.0 and write no shut here okay just i assign this ip whatever ip we have here and here then after that what i will do i will enable the router ospf okay i will enable the routing protocol i will write router ospf1 
interface E0 by 0, IP OSPF 1, area 0. I will write interface E0 by 1, I will write IP OSPF 1, area 0. So I enable the OSPF in this router R2. I will save the configuration. Now we will go to the R3 and here also you can do the configuration change the name of the router. Already you know we will write the host name and then you will assign the IP to the interface E0 by 0. You write IP address 192.168.23.2 then you need to write the subnet mask. After that no shirt and you have the loopback interface. So I will create one loopback interface loopback. 0 and then we can assign the IP address whatever IP we plan here then write subnet mask class A we are using and then we will enable the OSPF here so we will write router OSPF 1 interface E0 by 0 I will write IP OSPF 1 area 0 then another interface E loopback 0 IP OSPF 1 area 0 that's all this way we will configure the OSPF because many student is requesting just to show the lab in the Cisco CML so this is a Cisco modeling labs in this one I enable the OSPF okay so now you can go and you can check also here you can write show IP root and you can see you are learning this route from the OSPF. Ohm is OSPF. This 3.3.3 .3 you are learning from the OSPF. And this one also you are learning from the OSPF. Ohm is what you have here. You can see Ohm is OSPF. If you want to move this up, you can move up. And you can write show. You can click here. And then you can write here show IP root OSPF to filter that OSPF route. So you can see only OSPF. Then you can write show IP show IP <coughs> OSPF database so this is a OSPF database if you write show IP OSPF show IP OSPF neighbor so this will be the neighbor whoever is the neighbor here okay so this way we can use the Cisco modeling lab just I done one basic lab to show you how to do the basic lab how we can enable the OSPF so this is a what we can say we can say this is a Cisco modeling lab before it is paid one now Cisco make free for what we can say up to five nodes topology it will be free. So I use only three routers so no problem it will work I will I can use more to also total five device can work in this one more than five we cannot run if you want to run more than five then you need to close the old one means switch off any one then switch on the other one like that we can do so here you already know we done and everything is working here and you can check the software version here iOS is 17.15.1 so this is a Cisco modeling lab successfully completed if you have any doubt whatsapp us our team will support you okay you can look our telegram channel we already share all the links and our video how to install this one thank you